Good night, good night, have one just tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Sermon Jail Spirits Divine. I'm here to give you uh, some news on tonight. Gun violence. And it seems like the school is constantly being targeted with someone going into the school shooting them little kids like that. You know. So I I know I spoke on this here yesterday, you know, but I'm trying to um trying to get these permanent policies together because it all start with these policies. These policies have to stick. You, you know, it have to stick in order for us to start moving in a process of having less guns on the street. You know, so we are heartbroken, you know, by the news of another mass shooting. You know, so I'm trying my best to put policies together that are going to stick to make sure it's hard for criminals to purchase a gun. You know, because it just, the, the person we saw in the video looked a real young. You know, we cannot keep having these young people purchasing these guns and also mental illness is, is health um, issues is, is purchasing these guns also. You know, so it's not only the high profile master the shooting, but it's also the daily death by guns each and every day. You know, so I will focus on trying to make sure the kids are safe. Meantime, you know, all schools should have security, you know, unowned security inside of a school. On, uh, unowned security inside of school, own security outside of school. So so you'll have um, security on in and out. You know, they, or they, they should be making patrol around their building because they went around the building and got in through the windows and stuff. You know, so you need a security outside every hour. Make rounds out there. A security inside. Make rounds. You know, that way you can catch a whole lot of stuff right off hand before the police get there. You know, so we need less guns on the street. You know, and, um, and we need the storage to stop selling guns to young people in mental health. You know, the risk of guns violent, are particular in the schools, the community, and killing the innocent. You know, so gun safety, sensible guns law, produce easy access to dangerous weapon. You know, produce firearm, you know, access to young people and individuals who are at risk of harming themselves or others. You know, because a lot of time, you know, lately, we've been getting um, mental health is, is purchasing these guns. You went to seven different stores purchasing these guns, you, you, you know. And um, I've been putting these policies out for months. You know, they, they have, we have to do a background check on, on people that purchase these guns. You know, if you put a, a background check on the one, that could have saved lives. Because we have to do background check. You know, if they got mental health, you know, if they're young, they cannot purchase these guns. We have to save lives, you know. So we're going to produce firearm access to young people and individuals who are at risk of harming themselves or others. Because if they don't harm nobody else, they're going to harm themselves. You know, so two, engage responsibility guns for dealers and owners. You, you know, because a lot of time kids are getting access to, to these um, guns, you know. So, three, we're going we gonna to insist on mandatory training and license for owners. You got to have training. You know, four, require safe, safety and secure gun storage. You know, we've been having a lot of children um, getting guns from at home and bringing it to school. You know, so owners who have guns, you have to have it in a box where you can lock it. You know, so uh, be a proposal. Permanent policy to stop gun violence, you know, in the school, the community, and stop killing innocent people. You know, trying to tighten up these policies to make it hard for criminals to purchase a gun. You know, if we tighten up these policies, you know, we'll make it hard for them to purchase a gun. You, you know, do these background checks and, and you know, check for, for, for their mental state. You know, because you have to be in a mental state to constantly keep going to schools and, uh, and shooting these kids like this. 
you know, so um, I'm reduced to age to 20 years old to purchase a gun, you know, and two, enforce the background check. That's the main key. You, you know, every background check come that you 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 have seen someone, you have mental health, you got problems. Nobody in mental health should be purchasing a gun. Cause not not only you gonna harm somebody, you might harm your own self. You know, so so um three check yeah check for mental health. So four we're gonna check for any criminal charge. You have any criminal charge. In less than five years or seven years or something like that, you know. So if all of these come back negative, you cannot purchase a gun. You know, we have to stop the violence. You know, it have to stop because it seems like they're talking in these schools. You know, we ain't never had no gun violence in the school like this here. You know, your parents drop their kids off, you know, to go to school to learn, thinking they're going to be safe, you know. And, uh, and we constantly keep having these incidents like this here in the school. You know, so we talk about this this gun violence. This gun violence have to stop. You, you know, we uh, we talk about for, for right now. I'm still trying to come up with something to have these kids safe in the school. You know, in the meantime, you know, all schools have to get security. You, you know, the security can stop some of this stuff before the police even get before the police get there. You know, we gonna have you have to have our own um security inside the school. The patrol every hour, make sure the doors locked, check the windows because they came in through the windows and stuff. The own security outside. You know, they going around the building and getting into the school. So we got security outside patrolling the hour, security inside patrolling the hour. We can kind of catch a whole lot of stuff. You know, to save these kids' life. This the best I can do for right now because I'm going to keep on trying to um, see how we're going to keep these kids safe. You know, so and, and the main thing, you know, the main thing, we have to start doing force a background check. If we force these background check and, and, and catch a whole lot of stuff that's on their background check, they cannot purchase a guy. You know, we can save lives. From a lot of mental health, that person is gone. Went to seven different stores, person is gone. You know, if we only if we, they would have did a background check, we could have saved lives. You know, you know. So, uh, that's all I have for y'all today, and I'm gonna keep on trying my best to try to um my focus on trying to have these kids safe in the school. You know, have them safe in the school because that break my heart every time I see the news that tragedy happen like that. You know, so that's all the show news I have for y'all today. And I, I'm keeping my focus on these kids. Um, have a blessed night. And i see y'all on the next video.